if in doubt just bash a tree and cover it up this tree can come right down to the foreground it's the beauty of a tree you can just stick them anywhere that covers up my uh, Look that mistake, bit of light red, change the uh, change the flavour. And then take the fingernail, push down really hard at the bottom to get a nice big thick trunk and then just come up lightly as, it, as the branches get thinner towards the top. See more on this side. A bit dark, a bit of burnt umber, anything there, just some of dark burnt umber. Ultramarine, nice dark colour. Just keep twisting your brush around. Anything, anything to help with that helps you get random, random shapes that look natural. And then just to finish it off, if I uh, switch the number to my number three rigger, just a dark mix. Anything really, uh, burnt umber. Ultramarine is about as dark as I can get on this. Uh, I mean, it just just a few more branches in the gaps. And just to finish it off, I'm just going to dry the uh, dry the eight brush. I just scuff it up like that as I'm drying it, so the hairs are going everywhere. So once it's nice and dry, like that, all scuffed up. Just get your tree colours, whatever you've used. Just a quick dab, and then just just very gently. Just a very light touch. Just put the leaves in around the tree. Cover up that little mass. Never mind. It always helps. Bit of bit of foreground. It helps push the rest of the painting back a bit. So so that's that side. Right. What am I going to do with this side? Um, there's a little bit of a foreground shore on this right hand side. Not to, I've come a bit too far down the page now, but never, I can still just about get one in. So if I just start with a uh, raw sienna, burnt umber, bit of ultramarine, and then there's not too much to work with. But if I just quick sweep, and there's a bit of bit of grass on the top of that, so I change. Bit of green. And then maybe if I just just flick up a little bit. A few reeds and whatnot in the water. But it's still it's still a bit bare. So I might, I might actually put another, just a little bush or something over there to, so what I'll do first, I'll, I'll use the uh, the hike, dark, darkish mix, and I'll put, Just 
just put the main skeleton in and then just flesh it out a bit with your rigger and then the same thing again just to give it a bit of life I'm just going to scuff the uh, brush up again into, into the same colours and then just very lightly put the leaves in and just very light and you don't want hardly any water on the brush at all when you're doing this Maybe just a bit of dark down the bottom, and uh, wouldn't do any harm again. Just try and keep adding a bit more interest back to the card, and just put a few more. I mean, they're not, they're not even painting I've used, but it doesn't matter. You, you have got a bit of artistic license. If it helps make a better painting, then just go with it. Switch back to the rigger. Pretty much any colour. Same colours I've used on the trees. Take the excess off on the uh, t-shirt. And then just put a few birds. I think I'll call that one done. Dark colour back on the brush again. Uh, and find somewhere to pop your signature. I'm just going to stick it down there somewhere I think. That's another one finished. Thanks for watching, I'll see you again soon.